Yo guys, of course Lax here, in this video I am going to show you how to make anime header and by the way this tutorial will be very simple, it's going to be very short because like I'm trying to make tutorials for beginners and for people who do not really know how to make headers, of course people who know how to make headers and have their own style they don't have to watch tutorials. So yeah, I'm doing it for beginners and people who are just starting or maybe are trying to fi find their own style. So this tutorial will be very very short, simple and straight forward. So yeah, I'm just going to give make it step by step. So yeah, all right. So the first thing actually, of course, you have to just get a render. So I got this render from DeviantArt. And first thing we are going to do is we are going to make a nickname and I'm going to make it Alex, say Alex. By the way, my PC can be laggy, but yeah, I'm soon, of course, going to buy a new one because this one is kind of lagging. So A, L, we can make it smaller a bit. All right, A, I mean E, <laughs> X, and another X, we can make it smaller a bit, alright, it's cool, we can make it bigger, alright, I think it's nice, we can actually rotate it a bit, to this side, all right, I think it's nice. And what we can do here, actually, we can make it even bigger a bit. All right, now it's cool. Um, and we can actually go to the render and erase it a bit here, so we can see a nice shadow. All right, and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to group A and L and go over to small object. And we're going to make it yeah like yellowish. So like that. We are going to leave E and X white and we are going to make the last X like grey. Alright, it's cool. And what we're going to do now is we're going to convert them to smart object. Mm, actually we can cover them both. Alright. And what we are going to do now is we are going to go to my prestige pack. You can buy it in the description if you want. And we are going to go to folder shapes and brushes. And we are going to go with this brush. Convert to smart object and clipping mask. And we can just make a different color of it. We can make it like that. All right, I think it's cool. We are going to leave E and X white. And we can do the same thing with X, but this time we can make it like more light. As I said in the beginning, this tutorial will be very short, st simple. If you want to see me making like one hour tutorials, because that's like usually how um, how long it takes me to like make a client header, then just let me know in the comments. I can make a one hour tutorial, maybe. Who knows? But I, I think I can do that. So yeah, another thing we are going to do is we are going to cover this first part to smart object. Then go with inner glow. You can of course just copy my settings. As you can see, then we can actually make the opacity lower a bit. Then bevel and emboss. Inner glow. And we can go with stroke. You can just copy all my settings. And then we go with ENX, and here we all all we are going to do is actually we I think we are just going to make a stroke because I want to keep ENX simple. And here for X we are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing as for A and L. So inner shadow, bevel and emboss. We can make it like like that. Inner glow and stroke, the same thing. And now what we can do to make it like, to make the stroke better, we can just go here, 
we can create a layer we can get this color if you want to get the color that you want from your header you can just hold shift and click on the color that you want to select and we can just make it like that we can make it here we can also make it here and here and maybe here too or I think all right I think this one is cool uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go um, we're, we're going to select them all and convert to smart object and click on this and we can add inner glow as you can see it looks cool now we can click okay maybe actually we can add a shadow too all right and click okay and that already looks cool it looks simple but cool anyway and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pack again and here we can actually choose another brush we can choose this one and we can just mess around with the background a bit so we can just add some brushes to it as you can see we can actually add maybe that type of brush we can add it here we can add it here and then we can just group them and go to the same brush as we have chosen last time and we can just go here and click overlay all right and now we can actually th I think we can go with inner glow maybe not inner shadow I think would be cool just a little bit of it and yeah I think that's cool all right and now we can go with the same brush again I think and we can just add some stuff to the background so we can go with it here and we can add it here we can add the same brush copy it and create clipping mask and but make it like dark all right make it fade a bit all right it's cool it's cool and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the background all right I got it and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a graded map create a clipping mask mm, and I think we can keep it as it is right now and cover this one object and now we're going to click ctrl shift and a to go to the Camera roll. All right, can get into the basic clarity and texture, and click OK. And uh, actually, we can do the same thing on the left side, but we are going to mess around with it a bit. So we can transform flip horizontal, and what you can do on the other side is we can choose the colors of it. So we can actually make it like that and we can make it more dark. And by the way, how you can you can just open it, you can you just click Ctrl and U if you didn't know that. Alright, and now what we can do um, is we can pick the same font as Hieroglyph and we can um, get a white color. And we can go with overlay I think that will be cool yeah and we can go with Gaussian blur to make it fade a bit all right and we can just copy it and put it in the different places maybe not here maybe here all right it's not bad and now mm, what we can do is we can actually mess around with the render make the colors pop out more so we go here to the render hue and saturation create clipping mask colorize and saturation zero and click ctrl on i and now we can just make it colorful like that all right and then we are going to go with his hue and saturation again 
color rise and yell yellow, but we're going to make it like saturation like 17 or like maybe even 15 and click Ctrl and I and then do the same thing on the other side just in some places because we want to this this like yellow color to pop out too so in just some places all right I think that's nice and now what we're going to do um, is we are going to add a Chinese letters here so we just go with the text, we go with um, maybe this text, this font. If I find it on like Chrome, I will just leave a link in the description. Alright. And I will get back to you when I find some Chinese letters. Alright, so I got the Chinese letters. They mean black and yellow, because these are the colors of the trend of this header, of course. So we can put it here. We can just convert to smart object. And now what we are going to do is maybe we can mess around with the colors a bit, but let's see which color will look the best here. Yellow, maybe yellow. Okay, we can make actually we can actually make a gradient. So on the one side it will be like yellowish and on another it's gonna be like dark. Alright. We can mess around with it. Mm, okay, we can add it here more. Alright, it's not bad. We could click OK, then go to the layer and convert the smart object. And then click on it and go with stroke. And we can make the stroke like that, it's cool. And we can also add a shadow. Alright, and click OK. Alright, and we can convert it to the smart object. And now what we can do is we can blur the background a bit so we can just convert them to smart object all the, like, both of these backgrounds blur and gaussian blur and we can make it just a bit all right that's nice and now what we can do is we can maybe add some fires to it flames i mean so let's go to the flame folder flames folder and let's pick some flames this one is actually cool we can go here we can go with just normal gray color, like that, so as you can see. And we can just put it in some places. We can add one here too, but we can we have to make it like yellowish. As you can see. We can add one here. We can add one here too. Erase it a bit. And one thing we can also do is we can go to the flames again, but this time maybe choose a different one, or actually the same one, this one is cool. And go with the hue saturation and saturation on zero again. And we can make the lightness lower. And we could add it here, but blur and Gaussian blur. Alright, it's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add some lights. So make a new layer, and then go with the colors of the text and stuff that you want to make an effect of. So here, 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 here are the white colors. Here yellow. As you can see. Alright, I think that's enough. Maybe here too. And then go with um, lighter color. We can add on here too. Alright, let's go. Cool. And now we are going to group all the layers. Create a group. Go with Ctrl, Shift and A. 
and now we are going to just mess around with, it, with the effects. So you can just copy my settings if you want, but I just like every single header has different settings for camera roll, so yeah. Just like that. Now we can go to calibration. Just mess around with it a bit. And then go like that. Alright, and okay. And now what you can do is you can copy it, filter, filter blur and gaussian blur, and we can make it 40. And go with lighter color, and we can make it like, I think like 20%. I think it's cool. Then group them all, click Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E, and go with the noise and make it 5. And yeah, that's it. That was just a simple tutorial, not long. If you want to see long tutorials where I show actually way from when I where, like where I make client headers, because I know that m some of you might see my headers on my portfolio and you see the difference between the headers that I make like tutorials with and the ones that I have on portfolio but the truth is is when I make a tutorial I want to make it as simple as possible because I want to make it like beginner friendly I know that people that already have some experience don't, don't watch tutorials so I do it for beginners and yeah I think that's it and make sure to mm, go to the description and on my store and check out my new products and you can also join my Discord server. And yeah, I think that's it, and yeah, I see you in the next video.